Hi, I'm Matthew Poon here, photographer for the Advocate newspaper. I'm here with Judith Beer, talking to her about the local history display at Bullsbrook Library. Hi Judith, um, can you tell me more about the uh, local history project at Bullsbrook Library? Certainly. Uh, what we're doing is we're trying to establish a, a heritage trail throughout Bullsbrook. We're choosing all of those sites and people who have um, uh, either lived here for many, many years, some of them in the 1800s, and we plan to uh, put a, a trail around so that uh, we put a plaque on each of these uh, historical sites so that when people go and visit, uh, they can read about them and perhaps see um, a, a photo of something which is significant for that site. Uh, we will also uh, produce a small uh, brochure which will explain in more detail uh, how to get to these sites. We'll have a little map on the back, how to get to these sites and um, just a little bit more, perhaps more detail if we can't fit that onto the plaque. We chose Johnston Burley simply because um, uh, he was um, somebody that we could easily um, uh, identify. Uh, we could get all the um, details that we needed to know. Uh, and we also had dates, which are very important in when you're doing a, a, a history trail, you need to have dates. So we could have that with Johnston Burley. We thought it was significant also to start with him because uh, he really is a national war hero. Um, he has his own display over in the National uh, War Memorial in, the, in Canberra, uh, due to the fact that he was the only Australian soldier to be awarded a DCM both in the Boer War in Africa and in the First World War um, uh, when he was over there in France. So we thought it was significant that we start with him uh, simply because we had uh, lots of detail uh, for us to follow about him. So we thought uh, if we're going to do these trails and we're going to put up these significant sites, then we need to let people know a little bit about them. Hence, we've started to do uh, a display in the library where people come and they can read the story about them and they can get to know because we have a lot of people who have moved into the district, like myself, um, and don't know the history. So people can come into the library, they can read a bit about them uh, and know something to tell their children and the children at school can also come over and when they come over in classes and, and learn a little bit about the history of Bullsbrook and uh, the people who've lived here and uh, some of the significant sites. So that's what we're planning to do through the history group. How important do you think um, is it for the kids to learn about the history of Bullsbrook? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I think it's vital. Um, I mean, some of these places can be lost forever unless we bring these out and let people know about them. And years to come, you know, people will be quite, you know, help, I didn't know anything about that. Uh, so we need to now push these um, um, sites and, and people forward so that um, our young people can learn about them. And I think it's, it, it's just important really that they know about them. Um, who else is going to be featured in the... Um oh, we've got lots. We've got lots of people. The next display that will go up, because simply because we have dates and we have all the um, information to go up and some lovely pictures to go up, will be the King family. So they will go up. Then we, we know we've got dates and lots and lots of um, information and everything about the tailors. They will go up. We have, the, we have Ethel Warren. She has a, um, a lot of stuff. So we'll be able to, to, to do her story and put that up. So we'll gradually work through all these wonderful families who have lived in this district for, you know, since the 18, well, middle of the 1800s and uh, establish a real history about Bullsbrook because it has a history and um, we need to um, tell everybody about it. Cool. Well, thanks for your time, Judith. Oh. To read the full story and more, check out the next issue of The Advocate newspaper.